Parts of Galveston County are also under a mandatory evacuation order, including Bolivar Peninsula. Yes, that includes communities like Crystal Beach, High Island, and Gilchrist. Our Brandon Walker live on the peninsula this evening. Brandon, that area was hit hard during Hurricane Ike. Yeah, Dominique, and you saw it for yourself, guiding viewers through what Ike did to the peninsula. The big indication here now, some 12 years later, as we pull out along the shoreline at Crystal Beach, a lot of change. Houses rebuilt, a lot of new houses, too. And if you talk to natives, they tell a story of a Bolivar Peninsula pre-Ike and post-Ike. So they know post-Ike with Laura in the Gulf, why they need to get out of here now. It's just a great place to live. Kimball Noble says the sign speaks for itself. Nobles is a native resident of the Bolivar Peninsula. He knows what can blow ashore. But as I was a small child, 1950, so they've always been here. I've always had a house here. Now the backyard of his current house. Ike took the old home, spared the palm trees that stood next to it. Didn't kill them. <laughs> They're still there. Oliver Peninsula is under mandatory evacuation. Emergency crews this afternoon spreading the word. You got so much traffic. Telling coming. residents it's best they leave. When conditions get too bad, um, there's just not going to be a way for them to evacuate. And also for us as first responders, fire department, EMS, we're limited in our response. The Port Bolivar Ferry will run until 1130 tonight. That leaves Highway 124 the only way out after that. Stories of people that stayed here. Stories Patrick Murphy keeps on the coffee table of his rental property. Bolivar Peninsula's bout with Ike and how a storm forever changed the peninsula. There was hardly anything left. I mean, this, uh, I mean, this house was gone. The Murphy family leaving tonight for their home in the Dallas area. Live here back on Crystal Beach. Law enforcement here making sure that the beach is clear to get everyone out. Again, the ferry leaves tonight. The last one at 1130, meaning 124, is your only way out here on the peninsula. Live in Bolivar, I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News.